Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt and thanks for stopping by the channel. Now, tonight I'm gonna to be doing something pretty cool. First, I'm gonna be reviewing this Peak Rotary Vice. I've tied on this vice for a few years. I feel that I can confidently make a, a solid review on this. And then celebrate a milestone. We just hit 600 subscribers on the channel, so I'm gonna be giving this away to one of the subscribers. Stick around to the end, I'll tell you how you can enter to win this. So, let's get started. Let's talk about this Peak Rotary. Now, as of October 2020, this thing retails for $155. You can buy it from many, many vendors out there. You can buy it online. I got this one from a Bass Pro Shop here in Maryland. Um, oddly enough, five years ago when I bought it, it was the exact same price as it is today. But let's talk about this thing for a little bit. First off, um, yeah, if you are in the market for a rotary vise for $155, there is nothing better on the market than this one. I would really put this one up there with some of the vices that are $250, $300. And, and I'll tell you why, we'll go through the pros for this thing right now. I mean, there are a lot of pros to it. Uh, so first, it's heavy. This thing is five pounds and 14 ounces. I mean, this is almost a six pound vise, so it is solid. It's got some high quality machined parts, uh, a, a brass barrel up here. Some of these are, are stainless steel, these parts right here. This is machined aluminum, looks like aircraft grade aluminum. It's still the head inside here, the jaws are still, I mean, you can see I, I got the magnet right there, sticking to that pretty good, not sticking to the aluminum at all. Um, you know, won't stick to the brass, it'll stick to the steel over here. And then the base, I'm sure the base is probably just iron because it sticks to that quite, quite well. Um, so yeah, high quality parts, the thing is smooth. I mean, look look at this, um, it, it just feels good, it's smooth, it's easy to use. Um, and I mean, there aren't a whole lot of moving parts. Will this thing last 50 years? Absolutely, I think it will last 50 years. It's, it's easy to use, very smooth. You tie on this thing for a little while, you probably won't want to go back to a non-rotary vise. Um, even if you don't use a rotary vise, I mean, I'm not spinning woolly buggers all the time, I, but I love the rotary function because I quite often flip the flies over to tie a beard or a throat, and sometimes you just want to look at the other side. Sometimes you just want to move it around. This is so easy to use. You've got the little screw right there, full rotary, and then just a quarter of a turn, and now it will stop, it will spin, and you can put a, a really dog this turn down if you don't want it to move at all, and then it's not gonna move. So that is easy, and this will become second nature after you've tied on it for a while. How to move this, and lock it, free it, etc. So they put that screw in the perfect place for it. Um, so what are some of the other cons? Uh, yeah, it's got, it's got a bobbin cradle. I mean, this is very convenient when you are using the rotary. You, you put your thread over here. I mean, you can move it. It's a little bit close right there. I would probably slide it out a little bit and then uh, get your thread out of the way and then you just wrap your materials like this. So yeah, that's convenient. Uh, the base, it's got a couple of different holes. So you, you have some accessories you could put in there. I suppose you could put the post in one of the side bases. I don't know why anybody in their right mind would want to do that. Um, it's got rubber feet on the bottom, so if you're putting it on a hard desk right here, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna slide. Um, yeah, and I think the biggest pro, it's just fun to tie on. It makes tying easier, it makes it a lot more fun. So do I recommend this vise? Yes, absolutely. I recommend it over a lot of even more expensive vices. And as a, your entry into a rotary level vise, uh, yeah, it's this is solid. This is a, a great, great investment. Now, I would have to mention a couple of cons, and they're not big ones, but in all fairness, I will mention them. I mean, we talked about it being heavy. This is not a vice you want to necessarily travel with. You don't want to throw this in your carry-on and, and fly with it. It's going to add almost six pounds to your luggage, so it's not real easy to fly with. I have flown with it before, but yeah, that's just... I knew going in, it's, it's a heavy vice, it's gonna add a lot of weight to my bag. Um, and these locking bolts here, they're plastic. I used it pretty regularly for a couple of years and I never had any problems with them, but are these plastic bolts gonna last uh, 50 years? I don't know, maybe not. But the good thing Peak does offer brass 
you can you can buy brass ones here but they're 18 bucks so for 155 dollar vice you add those to it, it's probably 175 dollar vice then so i don't fault their decision with going with the plastic ones it's probably going to last a pretty long time just with that and what's that the so cons may be too heavy for some folks but if you're tying at home that's not a con at all uh, the plastic bolts right here they're on that and on the the bobbin cradle and then it's white you know i think i'd prefer it to be painted black or a dark color or maybe just a solid brass so i mean we're fly tires we're pretty messy you get head cement all over that and then you got fur and feathers locking into it so um, it's not hard to clean a little bit of fingernail polish remover a few times a year and it's clean but uh, you know if i was designing it i probably wouldn't have made the base white so really in short the pros far outweigh the cons and for 155 dollars in october of 2020 there's really i don't think any better vice on the market than this thing um, now i still tie with it i told you i tied on it for a couple of years i'm tying on a regal revolution now yeah i really love that thing too but i do still tie on this i have a bench at my farm and when i go up there every month or so um, this is the vice I tie with, and I still love it. It's still very efficient, very effective for me. Um, just a solid overall great vice. Now, back to the, the giveaway, the celebration of this. Now, if you are a current subscriber and a regular viewer of the channel, you probably know how we do these. You've probably gone to the link, gone to the website, and folks, what I ask you to do um, is uh, take a picture of your bench and email it to me. I, you know, it's a little frustrating at times when people out there look for giveaways on YouTube and, um, you know, they try to win them. If they win them, they go sell them on eBay. And that's not the intent of this channel. My goal is to give back to the fly tying community, give back to the folks who have supported me and the channel. You know, guys like Mike, Jim, Tanner, Connor, um, Steven, all you folks who watch the videos and comment on them and leave encouraging and positive remarks. You know, I really appreciate that. And other tires appreciate it when you leave comments that can help them. So thank you for that. And you are the folks that I want to make this channel for. I want to give away products and tools and fly tying materials too. So thanks again for watching. Check out the link in the description. Go to the website if you're interested in winning this. And I hope you are. And if you aren't a subscriber to this channel, I hope you will consider it. So that's all folks oh, oh one other thing oh this is really cool um thanks for sticking around but i got a new truck recently and my personalized tag just came in today so any maryland fly fishermen out there if you see a white f-150 with this maryland tag that says trout on it on the gunpowder or savage hey stop and say hey i'm uh, pretty excited to go put this on my truck so anyway, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.